All right, a little short video on, uh, uh, this is not focusing very well. Uh, there we go. On um, getting, uh, so getting some programming completed on my Harris 5800. Again, I'm having some trouble with focus. Uh, I'm in my Land Rover. All kinds of things going on here. And uh, we're at the beach. We're at uh, Cape Cod, Wellfleet Mass. Uh, beautiful day out, and um, normally I would leave this door open, which I think I will do, but uh, all right, anyway, it's, it's fine for now. So uh, I was experimenting with getting uh, the RPA software running. RPA stands for Radio Programming Application to be able to program the radio and not have to do it all manually by hand. Uh, this is part of an ongoing effort to learn how to best uh, manage these radios, program them, uh, and maybe work on uh, data modes at, at some point in time. So the, the basic process is you run this RPA software here. Um, and what I noticed was is that it wouldn't work. It was failing. Oops. It wasn't working right, and uh, I'll show you the problem. The problem was is that, um, so I'm also, I should mention, I'm using this Bluetooth, this uh, adapter, this USB to 232 adapter. Uh, works very well. And then, of course, I'm using the standard data communications cable. Uh, from Harris. Um, the problem was is that the software uh, which uses point-to-point -point protocol which is TCP IP over a serial port essentially um, was when I got the image of the computer of the original computer that had the software it must have been set to COM1 and, and so it wasn't communicating with the radio so what I decided to do what I think is a good idea to do here is to add a shortcut in my RPA folder, add a shortcut to the network radio driver install, installer. And this is what allows you, let's see if we can let me show this quickly. Uh, okay, right here, that's the folder and here's the application. So what you'll see is it, it, it says, uh, hopefully you can read all this. It's very small, even for me, uh, COM2. But it had only, it had been installed on COM1 only. Uh, and so that's what was, um, it, so it wasn't working since this, this USB port must be com, uh, associated with COM2. But it was very easy to set up. You just uh, pick a COM port. For me, it was COM2. And, and I said, um, I also chose this option, which is utilize this radio network connection for all IP traffic to unknown destinations, um, which which I think was fine. But I'm not going to recreate it. And then all you, you literally all you do is say install. I'm sorry, install driver, and off it goes. And then there's even a test connection here. So uh, I don't know if we'll, we'll try that. Let's test connection. Mm -hmm. Taking longer than I would expect. I haven't tried this before. Okay, if you could read that, it is successful. So the next part of this, so once you get that driver installed, is, um, I'm going to pause for this next part. Okay, all right, all kinds of uh, phone problems today. Uh, and so what then what we do is we run the RPA application here. I happen to have it already running at the bottom, so I'll just, I'll just open it. Uh, right now it's blank. Um, nothing set up, but what I'll do is I'll open up uh, this test one that's that uh, somebody made here. Okay, it's got some information. And you can see the channels are all uh, created here. So channel one, uh, three eight eight five uh, AM, etc. All these are, are are created. Let's see what's in channel four. 
Okay, 20 meters, 14, 3, 2, 5, uh, 14, 3, 4, 2, et cetera. Uh, AGC speed, you got all the, all the details here. And so now to program the radio, you literally hit, you hit this button, or you can, I think it's just here, you can just hit program. And you select the station. This I'm not exactly sure on yet, but it's, I'm going to select this. And then you say program. And I'll try to show, show you what the, what the radio is doing at the same time. Okay, that's fine. Connecting to radio. Querying firmware module version. I guess to make sure it's all compatible. All right, so here. If you saw the zeroizing, now remote programming. Um, and I'll just leave it on this because the radio doesn't show anything else at this point. Sorry about that, phone's ringing. I'm a popular guy today. Okay. Uh, all right, it reboots, the, it reboots the radio after it loads it. Probably hear all the relays clacking and it's done. And then here it says programming of station R5800 completed successfully. So that's it. So uh, we're able to program the radio. Hallelujah.